Hey everybody, it's Evie the Elf Vet. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen my other video that I literally just posted. Um, I was trying to kind of do a little bit more informal type of a this is what I've got haul situation. Um, and then that video ended up being a totally different video involving um, YouTube's new mobile streaming live, however you want to call it, thing that they're doing now. Okay. Um, that being said, because of that, um, I am just recording this one and kind of just going over the stuff I wanted to go over that I didn't go over already. This would have been the last video had that other stuff not been the way it was. Ugh. So I, I kind of like was kind of sort of somewhat prepared and by somewhat prepared I mean I was super prepared until <laughs> the last video and then I wasn't I'm not even mic'd up I just realized where's my microphone <laughs> oh my gosh guys I'm not gonna lie like I was really flustered in my last video I'm still kind of flustered Avi um, YouTube is something I do when I'm really stressed out and to be honest guys, just dropping crap, sorry. Um, I've been really stressed out recently for reasons that I cannot disclose. Um, but because of that, um, it's just been hard and so I just was like, I'm gonna go on YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and make my little video of the little haul that I did today, which is like super great. Cause I went to TJ Maxx, I went to Five Below. I got some makeup. I'm gonna talk about the other makeup I bought from Walmart today. Well, I didn't buy the, I didn't buy it from Walmart today, but I was gonna talk about the makeup I had bought from Walmart. Anyways, so let's just, get mic'd up, you know, try to, try to fix this whole situation. There we go. We're going to just keep it plugged into that. Sorry for taking the camera. <laughs> um, that was an ASMR joke because I watch ASMR. Um, anyways, <laughs> so I did want to go ahead and kind of talk about some stuff. The lighting is not the best lighting, um, but it is the lighting that I wanted to go ahead and do today. Um, I might actually, we can possibly try, oh, that's too bright. Um, yeah, we're going to keep up with this. Um, <coughs> sorry, just like coughed right on the mic. That was terrible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay. So I guess let's start with what I already had bought. This is not something I, or this is a previous purchase from a previous video. So this is the Profusion Sierra palette. I've used this palette a few times for a few looks, including my photo shoot that I had, um, which was so much fun. Um, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are so pigmented, so pigmented. I love the fact that it came with a little brush um, and to be honest I'm still kind of messing around and playing with it but like even these matte shades down here I was able to really sorry let me go ahead and show you closer even with these matte shades down here all of these are matte and even with those shades they're like beautiful they blend out perfectly it was like just so easy to do like a nude smoky look so this is the profusion cosmetic sienna palette now the Profusion Sienna palette retails at Walmart, at Walmart, for $10. So I don't know uh, if it's with another area. I know you can buy them online, the Profusion website. Um, that being said, I do want to go ahead and kind of get into like what I bought today though, because that was kind of the whole point of the video. And um, we're going to start with the things that are not makeup related. <laughs> Excuse me. But the stuff that I just needed. So I've been keeping all of my random loose change I get when I break a dollar bill. And I put it in a plastic bag. And I decided to put it in this cute little bank instead. 
And so it says, we are stardust and with the moons. And I put all my coins in there, so that's nice. Oops, hello. I also, <laughs> because of work, I've been like desperately needing pens. So they had these adorable pens from, um, I don't know if you can see that very well or not. They had these adorable pens at Five Below for $3. And they are really nice. They're ballpoint pens. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, eighteen 18 pens because um, there's a, another set of six that I already put in my bag. And then I also saw that they had Palo Santo and I love Palo Santo. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six whole pieces of Palo Santo. And I think I only paid like $2 for this at Five Below. Five Below is really upping their ante with their incense and other mystical items. And I'm very much living for it. So happy. <laughs> Um, it's at a nice price point too, so it's, you know, price point is decent, plus also it's just really cool to see, like, stuff like that in, like, a regular store. Alright, so let's go to what we got from TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. So I went to TJ Maxx because it was right next to the Five Below. <laughs> not gonna lie um and I was like what can I get from five below that's like makeup-y maybe that I can review and I didn't really see anything to be honest I think I got one thing I got this nope that ended up getting from TJ Maxx never mind so everything I got <laughs> oh that's what it was I was I went back into five below after I was done with TJ Maxx to get just like bath salt and um, like regular soap. Oh, I lied. And then I also got this. I did repurchase my favorite perfume from Vibe Below. This is the perfume Stiletto by Ferrera. By Fer, yeah, Ferrera. It comes. Oh Lord! My bad. Sorry, I just said a bad word and dropping everything. And luckily, it didn't break. Shatterproof. Kidding. I actually don't know. Um, I know it didn't break though. Um, but I am basically out. If you can tell. It's got a little bit left. Barely holding on. Um, but it is like my favorite scent. It reminds me of the good girl. Um, from. What's the competitor name? Oh my gosh. I don't remember. And it was on the thing that you ripped off. Okay, so in Sephora, there's a perfume called Good Girl, and it's a heel, and I don't remember the guy's name, but this is like a dupe, knockoff, whatever you want to call it, version of it, at Five Below for $5, and it smells pretty similar, like close enough that I used an entire bottle, plus went back and bought another bottle. Um, so this is what it looks like brand new out of the box so it looks like a little shoe and it's filled to the tippity tippity top and I love this oh so nice it is such like a it's such a sensual perfume I don't know how to explain it other than there's a reason why it looks like a little heel and I love that it's black and sleek and cute and it's I mean it's a freaking shoe it's a stiletto that's adorable so I love it. I'm going to actually put that back in the box. Actually, no, I'm not. The other one's basically empty. I'm going to just put the empty one. It's got like maybe like a spritz or two in the box and call it a day <laughs> since I already dropped it and may have possibly cracked it. All right. <coughs> Let's use our indoor voice. Sorry. Um, I forget that I have the microphone, to be honest. So I keep talking like how loud I used to talk. Maybe we'll do an entire video where I'm just doing ASMR type talking where it's slow and it's just me and the microphone talking about makeup, but like not so loud because I'm very loud. Okay. So 
that leads me to what I got from TJ Maxx. So at TJ Maxx, like I said, it was right next door to the five below in my area. And I went to TJ Maxx. And I'm not going to lie, the first thing I saw was deodorant. And I want to talk about this. So this is the healthy deodorant. Now, I can't tell you what it normally costs because I didn't look it up for this. And my phone's right there. And um, <laughs> I didn't think this through all the way. But the point is, is that it is not normally $4 and I only paid $4 for it. And it was not even, I just had to unseal it, obviously. You heard that because I went like that and I'm unwrapping it. But that being said, right, I'm unwrapping it. The scent is in the scent vanilla passion fruit. Now I'm going to be honest, I have no idea if this smells good <laughs> because I didn't open it to smell it because I wasn't going to be that person. They had a different scent that was like a la vanilla type of scent where it was like a vanilla lavender scent. But I don't know. I was kind of like eh about it. All right. I don't know how you open this. Oh, there we go. Took a second. As I shove it right in my face. My bad. I really like that. It's not... I don't know how to explain it. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. Like, I was expecting... <sighs> well, I understand why now. I was expecting a chemically spell or, like, something, like, very heavy. So, this is aluminum-free. Okay. <laughs> Freshly scented deodorant provides super long-lasting odor protection, soothing essential oils, blend with powerful antioxidants and beta glucin technology for daily defense and nourishment. Clinically tested, dermatologist recommended. Now, the reason why I have this and I wanted to try this is because I know this is expensive and it was only four bucks. And the deodorant that I carry around, I carry my deodorant with me all the time because you never know. You never know when you might need it and when you're feeling a little bit crazy. Plus, when you have anxiety, you kind of feel like you're perpetually sweating all of the time, even if you're not. So, <laughs> I could be in the middle of like a regular normal conversation like this or in general and be like, oh yeah, everything's fine and dandy. And then all of a sudden be like, you're sweating. You're sweating too much. And it's like, but I'm not though. And then it's like, but you are. And it turns into a panic attack. Uh, <laughs> I'm only laughing because it's true. So anyways, the, uh, the deodorant that I currently was using is called Crystal. Uh, it's a mineral deodorant roll-on, um, lavender and white tea. I do really like this. Um, I do feel like I have to, it says it's 24 hours. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's 24 hours. I feel like you would have to reapply it. I don't feel like it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, you can put this on and then go to the gym and you'll be fine. Maybe I'm wrong, but I still have like a decent amount of product left, like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's kind of a weird thing to do to your microphone, but you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, right? Oh, it's like right next to the metal. Let's get that away. I wonder if it's just been picking up on the metal clinking noise. Anyways, so that's that. I do like it. And this does have 225 fluid ounces. It's funny because I actually did see this also at TJ Maxx. And TJ Maxx, I think, was selling it for like $3.15. I almost bought it, but I was like, no, I already have one. This was $4, but um, it is a roll-on. or well, Okay, so this is like a roll-on uh, roll on liquid. This is a stick deodorant. Solid stick. And this is 57 grams or 2 ounces. So, basically, this has... Because um, this is... 2.25 fluid ounces and this is two ounces so this has more fluid ounces than the deodorant but i don't remember measurements guys i can't remember how many fluid ounces is in an ounce are they the same if you know that please comment that if you're watching this okay <laughs> um 
anyways so I did get this and like I said I actually really do like the smell a ton yeah it's just kind of fresh like I don't know how to explain it it's it's those vanilla passion fruit but I'm getting I am getting a heavy sense of vanilla I'm not gonna lie um but it's also robust vanilla it's like a weird way to describe a scent whatever um <laughs> you guys know what I mean you guys have smelled passion fruit I'm assuming because that's what it would be vanilla and passion fruit together as buddies and comrades I'm not gonna lie um if the lavender one had been not tampered with I probably would have gotten that one instead because I do love lavender and vanilla together but I felt like it was important to just have the one that was sealed and knew it was sealed um pretty much everything I got well let me rephrase that almost everything i got from uh, i was gonna say sephora not sephora tj maxx <laughs> um was uh basically not swatched and not opened with the exception of what i'm about to show you so this was opened um when i first saw it however it didn't look like it was like open open it looked like it was just like someone had like peeked inside and then put it back didn't look like nobody had swatched it or anything like that that doesn't mean I'm not gonna clean it it just means that I was trying to be very careful with that so this is by pure so this is I don't know when they released this but this is the pure midnight masquerade face palette and I got this for five dollars and ninety nine cents okay it says compare at eight dollars but to be honest I don't know when they released this I don't know if this was considered an exclusive palette or what exactly now the thing that made me stay with it is because this is still sealed that plastic is still sealed to the heat to here on both sides on both sides so that's why I was like okay so this is obviously your face side you have your blush highlight bronzer Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this blush is way too deep for my skin. And this blush is also, well, maybe it won't be, but from what I'm seeing, just from looking at it, it looks like this might not work for me, but this will. It's kind of ref showing the reflection of the plastic. It does have a mirror, which I like, and then it has six eyeshadow shades. Now, what I did like also is that it does have the names of these shades on the back. So, there's for the eyeshadows the gray oh wow okay so the silver one is called exposed then the one next to it is called sneak peek and then the dark gray one is called showtime then the one underneath the dark gray one is called 12 a.m which makes sense then the purpley one is called disguise and then the gold one is called mask off your top pink corner is called Hidden Secret. The darker pink down here by my finger is called Reveal. Then Enchantment and then Twilight. So I think that that will be a fun little palette to kind of just, I want to just kind of see. I haven't really used any pure products except for like I think one thing way back in the day and it wasn't an eyeshadow so I wanted to try the pure eyeshadows because I know that they're a reputable company carried by Ulta Sephora so I wanted to check them out now I also um did something a little bit different um <laughs> I kind of exclusively on accident with the exception I didn't mean to do this actually what's funny about that let me talk about the hair thing because so the pure was the eyeshadow um <clears throat> and then I got a hair mask which I am not gonna lie I am dying to try so this is uh for six dollars and 99 cents now this is by MNG hemp oil hair repair mask so it's a hemp oil morgan and grace australia hair repair mask and it does come in uh 6.76 fluid ounces for the hair repair mask which is going to be several uh that is going to be several different um treatments i'm going to guess probably in total i'm just plugging you guys in one second uh, I'm gonna guess probably in total 
with my thick hair, at least 10 to 15. I'll probably get 20 out of it, to be honest. So that's for the hair mask. Then this is, ooh, a moisturizing hair mask by Manuka Honey. So it's the same, it's the same brand, sorry. So this is a hemp oil and this is Manuka Honey. And then this is a natural humor scent. Manuka Honey helps lock in moisture for healthy silky hair. This one, hemp oil is packed with essential omega fatty acids, three, six, and nine, to help strengthen, moisturize, and repair stressed out hair. Well, my hair has been stressed out. <laughs> Um, I haven't done a hair mask in a really long time and I used to be really good at doing them because oh it smells good um, it is no a in there was this hair mask that if it was not so expensive I would buy cases of it because it smells like vanilla cupcakes and it is so hydrating and it's, I think, by A and G. Oh, that's nice, too. That's an, I like that one more than I like the other one. This Manuka Honey Spell. I, like I said, I'll have to find what the name of it. It's like A and G, I think. A and G, A and, A and E is TV, so not A and I'm pretty sure it's A, no, not A and G. It's gonna come to me, guys. I worked at this a lot. I saw it all the time. Um, it was like the, it was in a white package. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember it? Anyways, the point is, is it was like, it, I mean, it still is. You can buy it at JCPenney. I will probably go buy one just so that way I can be like, guys, this is the one I was telling you about. <laughs> Sorry for being obnoxious, but I felt like that would need to be the, the way it said. Okay, so... Again, this is what I thought was funny because I didn't intentionally mean to do this. This is just how this happened. So the only makeup, minus the eyeshadow palette, so we're going to disregard the eyeshadow palette for a minute. The only makeup I bought was Bare Minerals. Now, that's what I think is funny because I actually have never really... I've used... I used Bare Minerals like once or twice in the past. Past. Um, but the thing is, is that in the past... I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't a fan. It was more of just like, oh, okay. What? That's, that's okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. These lipsticks, okay, look so cute. They're just sleek. So, one of them, the one that's called Alpha. So, that's, I should have done this, like, individually, not thinking this through, Evelyn. So, I got two. One's called Alpha. One's called Sex Pot. Those are the names. <laughs> um, so the alpha one is the Bare Minerals Statement Lux Shine Lipstick in Brilliance Extreme. Sex Pot is uh, considered Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick. Um, so those are the boxes here. Each one of these lipsticks at TJ Maxx was $4.99. So I feel like that's a good price. Um, I'm not sure how much they would be retailing now um, or how much oh that is not the color okay I'm gonna tell you what happened so sex pot okay has a black sticker on it y'all know I'm kind of going through a really hardcore edgy phase and even though it said nude on the packaging the black circle made me think oh it's a black lipstick it's not it's a nude lipstick now what's funny though is I think it might be the right kind of nude for my shade uh, actually huh that might actually be like a really spot-on nude for my lips I'm really careful with nudes I like to do like nudie pinks this is going to be something very different for me. But I'm not going to lie. This was just one swipe. It's very shiny. But it's very smooth. It's a very moisturizing. I mean, I can, can I say that? Is, that? is it supposed to be moisturizing? Is this, that's alpha. That's the wrong one. Is it supposed to be moisturizing? Let's see. 
I mean, it doesn't say it's supposed to be moisturizing, but it doesn't say it's not supposed to be. It just says next generation needs for every skin tone. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that. It was going to be a nude shade. I legit like saw this black dot and was like, it's going to be black. Hooray. That's fine. It's fine. It looks pretty. We'll have to swatch it on my lips. That's what's going to happen next. Oh, wait. Oh. I wonder if that means that this isn't really red. So Alpha has a red sticker. <laughs> oh my gosh, what if it's not red? Oh my gosh, that would be funny. And also, oh my gosh. So this is the Bare Minerals Statement Lux Shine. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't worn a shine lipstick in forever. Matt has kind of taken over the world. <laughs> um, and so yeah let's see what this looks like oh hello okay so this is different too so this lipstick is pointed oh it's showing pink on camera is it red or is it pink so in the light it's like not a true red it's like a pink but then when i look at it down here it's like a red let's see what it swatches as oh hmm <sighs> I'm not sure how I feel about this. And I'm not saying that because of the product. It's very pigmented. See, now on camera, it's picking up red. But when I look at it, it's like a pink red. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to be a weird nude color, but like a nice weird nude color. Okay, so this is definitely a true red for me, for my skin tone. That being said... I don't know if I like the formula for this and I don't mean that in a bad way like I, it's still smooth and it's still you know it's it's a lipstick it's still nice um it just feels different <laughs> um this one is a rounded I'm not sure why they went from a rounded head to a typical let me show you guys again a typical triangular pointed lipstick head like why didn't they just do that for both I don't know um I might be mistaken and actually be like oh my god this is the best I'm really curious so I'm gonna swatch half of it with this color and the other half with the other and so it's really nice I feel like it's kind of a true nude okay we're gonna just swatch the whole I was gonna try and do a half and half I feel like I have to show you this in different lighting because it doesn't wash away my lips can you see that on the camera? It doesn't make them disappear. Let me see if I can do a different lighting. Hello light, where'd you go? There you are. Does that make it look worse or better? No, I feel like that made it better. Like, I'm like, what better? <laughs> Yeah, because it's not, it's that this looks more like how it looks like when I'm looking at it. It's not as harsh of a, it's it not, it just looks like my skin, except not pink. <laughs> like I'm not having a rosacea outbreak on my face. And then this is, oh, I like this lighting with it. It's like a soft nude. I don't have a single color like this. Yeah, it's, it's this lighting that makes it look darker. But in regular cool lighting, which is what most fluorescent lights are, this just looks like a typical nude lip. Oh my gosh, and this is with the mix of it, so this is like an in-between. This is a nice color for me, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm low-key kind of shook. I don't wanna take it off, I like it. Well, hello sex pot. <laughs> That's the name of the lipstick. Um, I am going to, I'm going to take it off just because, hello, just because, uh, I want to 
um, go ahead and do a swatch on my lips of the other one. Now again, yeah, see that's the difference right there. So this is what my lip naturally looks like. This is what the lipstick. I don't hate it. I actually really like that. I've always like, I've always felt that if I did too intense of like a brown nude, like all of my nudes have been like this pinky kind of a nude, which is so different than the nude that I just showed you. We'll have to do um, a swatch for comparison in a second. Let me swatch that on my finger so I at least have that swatched for my comparison. See, that's like the typical nude colors I go with. Sex pot, there we go. And it felt like I wasn't even wearing anything. It felt like I was wearing um, like a lip balm, to be honest. And that's this, see, it's normally I go with like a pink base. This is just like a, a brown nude. Huh. And it's not as, I think I was just getting the wrong kind of nude shade because I was so worried that if I did too yellow of a nude shade, it was going to make me look like a bitch. I'm going to be honest with you guys about it. Like, I was really worried about that. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of worried about this color. It's showing pink on my camera, but it looks not pink. I don't know how to explain. Oh, hello. I'm going to look in the mirror for this. Hey, yo, this is like a 1950s red. I'll just show you guys and um. With the lighting. Minus the fact that someone kind of stay inside the lines. <laughs> I don't hate this actually. I thought it was going to be too pink, but I think it was because it was showing up pink in my monitor. And so I was like, this is not the color I wanted, but I don't hate it. It's actually, let me see if I can get it closer to what I'm seeing in person. Um, oh, is that closer to what I'm seeing in person? It's kind of closer, I would say. And what about this? I feel like with this lighting, it made it more pink. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be the best for this. It's a warm red, I think is why. So it's not like a, it's not a deep red. It's a cool tone red. So you see it better when my face looks more warm tone because then you're like, oh, that's red. Whereas here, with a cool tone and a cool tone red, it looks like it's like a pinky red. It doesn't look like it's a red red. Well, maybe it does. I'm, I mean, I might be wrong. That's a mix of the two. Anyways, we're gonna go back to this because I like this. I like this the best <laughs> for my face. I did actually put like makeup on today and do a bunch of other stuff today, but you know, my skin decided to be like, hey, we're dry AF, fix it. <laughs> So <laughs> that's what happened. Oh, and I wanted to like show you. So I swatched both of the nudes. Oh, did I do that already? Yes, yes you did. Okay. <laughs> I'll explain why that happens sometimes in a later video when I'm ready to talk about that. Anyways, um, so then I also saw that they had the Bare Minerals uh, foundation. Now they have the Bare Minerals. This is Bare Skin Bare Minerals foundation pure brightening serum foundation this is in only one fluid ounce. oh so they're both one fluid ounce this one is in a bigger packaging i guess it's because they put it in a taller bottle we'll look at that in a minute it's the same amount um but so the bare skin I, I so i got the shade bare shell number two and then i also got the shade oh hello lighting come on 
Do your magic. What do you need to see? There we go. Nope, nope, that made it yellow. What do you need? We need different lights. Oh, I don't know if that worked. That might have made it worse. Yeah, it's not that big of a difference. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it at this one. Because there is a difference, but it's closer of a difference with this one than the other two lights. So, there we go. So with this, I do have two different shades. So I got the two similar -ish shades. There was a ton um, <laughs> of the Bare Skin and there was not a ton of the Bare Pro. But I felt like the Bare Pro was closer to my shade than my Bare Skin. And I obviously did not test anything, did not open anything in the store none of that there was open ones but I chose not to use them because I wasn't sure you know where they came from who they were with all that stuff now because I didn't open this I'm gonna shake it hello catching things okay so this is in the shade bare shell o2 bare minerals bare skin foundation um, I don't know if bare minerals currently still sells this by the way oh hello interesting it's a dropper do you squeeze it do you just like pour it out i'm not i'm not good at measuring like that i'm like so worried i'm gonna pour like all of it out oh you have to like actually like drop it onto your hand or brush face you wouldn't be doing that to your face you would have to do it to your hand first sanitary stuff you know okay well shake well for seamless skin perfecting coverage is what it says so this is an oh i didn't see that it's bra spectrum spf 20 um i mean still wear sunscreen but oh okay mm. okay maybe i didn't shake it well enough maybe i need a brush maybe i need a primer maybe i need all three it is i'm not gonna lie it blends out very nice it does blend into my skin tone matte shade yeah even when i'm looking it's a little shiny and yellow and low-key greasy um <laughs> not like super crazy greasy but for me greasy now that being said it will that maybe help my skin I don't know it says a breathtaking tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one ew I don't like when they say stuff like that because it makes me uncomfortable because skincare and foundation can work together but it's not always necessarily a good combination sometimes um which might be why my skin felt oily slash greasy that's okay um so this was only seven dollars and 99 cents this was the cheaper of the two foundations that i grabbed um shake drop buff application shake well for a perfect mix of ingredients maybe i didn't shake it well enough that could have also been a factor um, drop one or two drops of foundation into the perfecting face brush reservoir. I did not buy a face brush reservoir. Oh, I wonder if it'll work for my, I have a special brush though from a different company that has a well that probably would work just as well. I, um, but it's by Unique and it's got like a special hole in it. I think I still have that brush. I'll wash it and I'll see if it'll work. But anyways, um, it says created with exceptional purity in mind, the ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage and natural finish in the look and feel of beautiful skin while delivering a noticeably brighter, more youthful appearance made with the bare minimum ingredients and form formulated without water, oil, silicone, parabens, or fragrance. Okay, so if it wasn't water or oil, 
Why was my hand so greasy? What are these ingredients? Oh, coconut oil. Key ingredients, vitamin C, lilac plant stem cells, non-chemical broad spectrum SPF 20, and then like literally the third thing it says, or second thing it says is coconut alkynes. Coconut alkynes, I'm pretty sure it's coconut oil. So it's not oil, but it's coconut oil. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I love the glow for it. It's a, it is a soft finish. It might help. That was so gross, I'm so sorry you heard that. Excuse me. Okay. I'm not against it. Um, I was actually surprised by the shade match with my skin. I wonder if it would actually match well here to here, but that's a different video. This is already like 40 minutes long. Okay, so this is the one I paid $9 for. Hello, very light skin shade. Okay. So this is $9.99. This is in the skin shade champagne. Um, Y'all are already going to see why I said hello skin shade. Can you see? The, it's kind of yellow. And I'm kind of pink um <laughs> so i think the champagne oh but look at the little pump okay i wonder if i can twist it so i can get it without pumping product out oh that's satisfying as heck there's a must be a ton of product in here okay and when i'm looking at it in here can you guys see can you guys see the color in here or no Feel like you can't see the color okay well that's fine i'll just okay that's not going to be right because that's wrong 